Scorpios. Let's check it out. So there we have an A bass note and a hammer on from G to A and then an A7 chord with a low A bass in there. So it's really just like that. So low A, hammer from G to A, and then you make this chord right here. Open string, fifth fret on the D, fifth fret on the G. And that gives you an A7. All right, so you get the G and the C in there. So it's an A7 without a fifth, basically. You could, you could add the fifth in here with the E, but it's, I don't think it's in the chord. Yeah, I think that's better there. And then there's a little kind of slide up thing. Um, probably goes like a C and an A or something, and then slides up, and that's when the horn melody comes in. So let's listen to that. I'll just I'll play you through the uh, through the chords. Okay, so your ears are going to get a little tricked here by the melody, but the chords underneath are D minor, G, A, and then an F. You can hear it. So the melody is, um, let's see here. melody then is just in D to F, D to G, and then an octave down from A, like that. And then F, F to E. Right, so the chords on top, D minor, bum, 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 bum. D minor, G, and A to an F. And you're going to want to play an E there. But that's not the chord. It's actually a C over E. Listen. Okay, if there's any chord there, it's got the third in the bass. It's a first inversion major chord. But if you listen, I know one of you in the comments will say, well, Marco's playing it this way in the Prince Charming review, which is fine. <laughs> People love to do that, and I understand why. And if you listen to the Prince Charming review, he's just staying on, he's just staying on that F chord. But the melody is playing the major seven of that chord down to the E major. But what I hear there is a, a third in the bass of a major chord. But the melody again. Okay, so those are the chords for the intro. There's a second part of the intro that uh, we need to listen to here. Let's check that out. Okay, now if you listen, okay, that, that, this it's hard to pick out the chords, but they're in there. Let's listen to that one more time. Oh, hang on. Get the timing right here. Okay, so what you have there is a descending uh, set of minor third intervals until the end, which is just a major second, right? So it's E minor, it's kind of implying D minor, and then implying C minor, and then going from B flat to C there. So what you can do is go... So I think this works best if you play it as just kind of like power chords, but I like the E minor at the start, E minor to G, D to F, C to B, uh, E flat, and then 
B flat up to C. Now you could go E minor, D minor, C minor, B flat to C. I don't like that. Um, you can clearly hear that's what he's outlining. And again, on the Prince Charming review, what Marco does, and it's funny because I worked out all the chords and then I watched the Prince Charming review and I actually have worked it out exactly the way Marco played it live. So I was pretty happy with myself, but... Um, Oops. All right. So those are the chords. E minor. Now, I don't know how he's doing that part there. Uh, he could be doing that a lot of ways. I don't know, but I'm guessing he's doing it like this. But this is how I would do it. Uh, e minor to C G, D to F, C to E flat, D e flat, up to C. And right before the vocal, it goes in. I think it does at least. Let's listen. Can't remember. Okay, only one time. Ba -na 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 -na. And then the um, vocal kicks in on the verse. And this is the same set of descending minor thirds, except it's one step lower. So let's listen to that. So you see it's just, it's the same exact thing as before, except that we're starting lower and we're, start, sorry, did I say one step? Uh, it's a fourth lower, so we're starting on B. So the chords would be D minor to D, A to C, G to B flat, F A to G. And there's a gang in every town who say the rules. Listen here for what who knows me feel it's just like Scorpius. That's it, okay? So very, very cool. And by the way, the chord chart is all below for you guys this time. I don't usually do the ant chord charts because they're so easy, but this time I did. So yeah, same thing, just descending minor thirds. And the first chord is a minor. Minor, D major, A major to C major, D major to B flat major, F to G. And then we go into a chorus, which is the same as the first part of the intro. And that's it. It's just D minor, D, A to, uh, to F. Okay? And then we have a repeat of the main, uh, of the verse, which is the same thing again. Blacks a little, watch the clothes, windows are sharp as diamonds. Stopping them is watching you from cruising ugly. Something like that, right? I messed up the chord there, but you guys get the idea. So it's the same repeat of that verse again. Let's just listen to it for posterity. Same course. Uh, one thing uh, someone will probably point out, uh, play the D minor here, or here. Sorry, D minor. No, 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 we're here. All right, he's 
definitely not playing it there, okay? I just go there because I'm playing on an acoustic guitar, so it's sort of a default, but it's almost certainly that voicing or this one, okay? So, we've now got a little instrumental part. Okay, so that is a descending chord line that is C, B minor, A minor, F, E, C, A minor. Listen. But he's only playing partial chords here, so you're playing the two note. So there's your C note there. It's the D shape, right? But you're moving up here. So you're playing C and uh, uh, fifth, right? Which is the G. So you go G C, B, A, F, E, C, 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 A. On the live Prince Charming review, he plays something a little bit different there, but that's what's played on the record. Okay, very, very cool. And then we have a nice little chordal part here, the bridge. So the chords are... Chance you cling to hate, just rest assured it's your mistake. And if by chance you cling to hate, just rest assured, assured it's your mistake. However, you do it, it's just D minor, A minor, E to A minor. Second time, D minor. A minor, B7, to E. But the the bass is going, If by chance you cling to hate, Just rest assured it's your mistake. Right, but those are the chords. And then we have a sort of a re-intro, which is, uh, again, um, changing keys, we're going to go down a fourth, re-intro it in D minor, we're going to re-intro in A minor here, so let's listen to that. Ah, one more time. Okay, so our intro was, remember, D minor, G, A, and F. This time it's A minor, D, E, and C. Uh, where would that be? It would be like uh, here. But it's the same key that we did the second part of the intro in, which is E minor. Listen. So don't forget we're on the chord stabs. Dun, dun, da, dun, 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 da, dun. We're in C to B. So then we're going to go to E, which is nice because that B sets us up as the five of E, right? So let's listen. <laughs>
Okay, so it's the same thing we did before. E minor to G, D to F, e to B, uh, C to E flat, D flat to C. vocal comes in and we have another key change there uh, which is really interesting we're going to go to G minor here it's a sort of G minor it's more of a G Dorian but who cares um, let's listen to that whoops back a little further same pattern, right? We started D minor, G to A to F, right? And then we repeated that with A minor, D to D to C. This time we were just going G, D, D, B flat to A, right? So you go to G, Your ear doesn't maybe consciously pick that up, but it's the same melody, just changed in key, right? So the chords are... So the melody is playing that... So the end is, you can play. B flat to A. And on G minor. And 43 years later, or 42 years later, you now know how to play Scorpios. So have fun, guys. Take care.